and I hope you're having a great day so far. Uh, we got some interesting things to talk about. This is actually a follow-up to the live training that I did last week uh, about all of the, the LinkedIn creator mode stuff. And people were like, well, LinkedIn creator mode is not gone. It's just moved. The, the concept of LinkedIn creator mode is there, but the LinkedIn creator mode section uh, is not on your profile anymore. So there are some LinkedIn creator mode and analytics updates that I want to cover with you today. Three things in specific. So let's not wait any longer. So let's dive on in. So hey there, Scott Aaron here. So grateful to be back with you here today. Uh, as you see this live, please hop into the comments below. Uh, please do say hi and where you are tuning in from or hashtag live. Hashtag replay if you're watching this on the replay. Uh, let me know um, coming through loud and clear. You can see me and hear me clearly by typing the word clear. Um, and in addition, let me know what city, state, country, province in the world you're watching this from. I love seeing the diversity of where people actually see these trainings from. Just helps me get a better understanding of where my network is from and where they're watching. Uh, also, if you had an interest in joining my final, my final free five-day LinkedIn workshop of the year, uh, I only do a couple of these per year. I did one earlier in the year, and I'm doing another one. June 10th to June 14th, it is called The Amateur to Expert on LinkedIn. Five-day workshop, completely free. It's a Monday through Friday, June 10th to June 14th, 1 to 2 p.m. EST, live and recorded. Uh, all you have to do is drop the word free in the comments below at any point, live or on the replay, and I will send you the registration link. You're going to learn how to optimize your profile, build the right kind of network, uh, message people properly, book sales calls, close sales, create content, follow my 20-minute routine, and what you have to do to not get blocked on LinkedIn. So again, just type the word free, and I will send you that registration link. Now, on to today's topic, which are the LinkedIn creator mode updates and things that you need to know about. Now, there are three things in specific that I wanted to go over with you today. Now, first, the fact that the LinkedIn creator tools have moved. So, no, LinkedIn creator mode is not completely dead, but creator tools are there. So creator mode, which is, that was the toggle that I spoke about last week where you can turn it on to off, that is gone. The creator tools are still there, but they're in a place where you actually have to go and look for them. So I'm going to share my screen as always to show you where this is. So if you look on the left-hand side, you will see an area called post impressions. Now, this is where you can find out exactly what creator tools you have access to. So just to kind of give you just a little follow-up. So they used to be on your LinkedIn profile, right? So there was a resource area right here and it would say creator mode on off. That is gone. But where it is now is if you look over here, it says post impressions. All you have to do is click right here, scroll down, and it will show you exactly which creator tools you have. So it'll show you, yes, uh, you have access to LinkedIn Live. LinkedIn audio events, LinkedIn newsletters, uh, and even the follow feature. I'm just going to remove myself so you guys can see that clearly. Let me uh, let me move this. So LinkedIn Live, LinkedIn audio events, LinkedIn newsletters, and the follow link. Now, if you were to click on any of these, obviously it will show you, you know, LinkedIn Live lets you bring professional communities together. LinkedIn audio events, bring professional communities to learn more, how to host one, newsletters. So it has everything here, your follow feature, all that stuff. Again, all you have to do is go to the home page of LinkedIn, click on post impressions, and it will show you all of the creator tools there. So 
That is number one. Second, obviously piggybacking off of that is the profile analytics have moved. So before I dive into that, again, if you're just jumping on and you would like to say hi, please do by hopping in the comments below, say hi and where you're tuning in from or hashtag live, hashtag replay. If you are watching this on the replay, tag some people, share this video, like, love, support, respond and react to this any which way you want. Um, and please don't forget to visit my LinkedIn profile, hit my follow button, and then turn my LinkedIn notification bell on so you do not miss any of my content that I publish. Um, two free trainings Monday and Thursdays between 10 and 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But content regularly Monday through Thursday, sometimes Friday, sometimes Saturday, sometimes Sunday. So don't wait to turn that notification bell on. Now, your profile analytics. So again, those used to be, just to, I'm going to share my screen again. Um, and one other time, if uh, again, if anybody would like to register for my free LinkedIn workshop, June 10th to June 14th, just type the word free in the comments and I will get you that registration link. So let me just share my screen again. And uh, so prior to this, prior to this, you used to have an analytics portion um, which some people still do. So you can see an analytics right here. So you can still click on this through here, but they've actually moved it to be on this left-hand side area as well, where you can just click back on that post impressions and you can see your analytics right here, analytics and tools. So what I can do is just to give you an example, I can cl click on my post impressions here and it's going to show me you know, 76,370 impressions in the past seven days. And just as always, you can do a year look. So if I wanted to change this um, over the last 365, 1.1 million impressions um, from May 5th to May 5th. Um, so you can do it over the past 14 days where it shows you 131,000. Um, if I want to check the past month, there you go, 266,000 over the past month. Now, um, again, going over the past seven days, this can also show you your top performing posts. So you can see right here, here are my three top performing posts. Um, I can also switch it by engagements. So I can hit show results for engagements, 194 engagements, and these are the top performing engagements. So again, if you're really looking to figure out where everything is in a very streamlined fashion, um, all you have to do is, again, go to the left-hand side toggle area, click on post impressions, and there they are. So again, that is number two. Uh, again, just to refresh, these are the three uh, things around LinkedIn creator mode and analytics updates that you need to know. So the LinkedIn creator tools have moved, profile analytics have moved as well. And again, you can find all of that information, as I mentioned, in that left-hand area under profile analytics. Click on it. You'll see your creator tools and the analytics to anything that you've posted in the last week, 14 days, month, 90 days, and over the last year. So um, again, uh, as you're coming on, uh, either live or on the replay, do hashtag live or hashtag replay. Tag some people, share this video, like, love, support, react and respond to this any which way you want. And also, if this has made sense so far and you've noticed these changes yourselves, type a Y or a yes in the comments below or N or no. Maybe you didn't know that LinkedIn creator mode had changed and all of these things were reworked. So we have one more thing to dig into, and this is in regards to the about summary section being bumped up. So the, the summary section, it's not that it's gone. It is there. It used to be pushed down a lot lower than we're used to. But LinkedIn, since they actually moved LinkedIn creator mode and the tools to a different area, they wanted people to get to know the person on a personal and professional level better by providing the ability for people to see that summary section and about section much quicker. So let me just show you really quickly where it was compared to where it is right now. So when you go to your profile, where the about section used to be 
prior to uh, Crater Mode being taken away, it was underneath the activity section. It was all the way down here above experience. So people had to scroll through your analytics, your resources, um, your featured content section, and your activity before they even got to know you and learned about you and what you do. But that has changed. So what they've done was um, they've actually bumped it all the way up below the resources. So you'll still see your analytics and resources first. And there you go. There is your about section. Now, as I mentioned before, the keys to really optimizing your about section, the keys to optimizing the about section is number one, making sure it's at a minimum, minimum 500 words in length. Number two, make sure it's written in first person. Number three, make sure you uh, mention some quantified metrics, four-time best-selling author, 750,000 downloads and counting. But number three, or I'm sorry, number four, make sure that you list the word skills and 10 to 20 specific skills that really showcase your expertise. And rounding it out, make sure that you have at least one to two calls to action. Website for more info, scottaaron.net. E to email to contact me, scott at scottaaron.net. Bring people from your LinkedIn profile offline to wherever it is that you want them to go. So again, this section was moved, bumped up. So make sure that you take advantage of it. Make sure that you're leveraging it the right way. 500 words in length or more, written in first person, a couple quantified metrics that position you as an expert. List those 10 to 20 specific skills and have those calls to action. So as I mentioned before, you can go find where the LinkedIn creator mode tools have moved as well as your profile analytics. They are on the left-hand column on your LinkedIn profile and you will see on the home page, it'll have your profile on the left and right underneath that post impressions. That's where you will see all of that. But also take a look, see where you're about and summary section was bumped up too. And is it optimized? And go back and watch this and see what you can do to better improve it. Uh, as always, one last time, if you would like to register for my free LinkedIn workshop from June 10th to June 14th, please do just comment below the word free and I will send you that registration link. And as always, let me know what did you resonate most with in today's training? Drop it in the comments below. I hope you found today's training helpful. Love and gratitude. And I'll talk to you next time.